What's going on everybody? So I'm super stoked here. Silent Night has released a, a new single, as they promised. The name of this song is Blood in the Water. I, I, I'm just really stoked to give this bad boy a listen because if you all saw my reaction to their first single from this new album, uh, Full Force, it got the fantastic and just it was really great blew me away and full force is actually the name of their new album uh, coming out in September so it's really right around the corner I also did a chat with Stu McGill of uh, the band Silent Night um, you can check that out as well uh, I posted that a, a couple days ago a few days ago or whatnot really really great chat with them really cool getting some insight behind the band and uh, you know the songwriting process and all that cool stuff so you definitely don't want to miss that uh, but uh, yeah I, without further ado I, I have really been excited and anxious and wanting to listen to this so and, and now we get to so let's uh, give it a listen shall we Rangers go
what a great way to end the song. I tell you, Lord have mercy, these guys are shredding on, on those guitars. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, I, I, I mean, you get the solos and, and just shredding galore. Uh, I don't know if y'all can hear that. There's uh, the sirens outside. It's probably the, the police coming to, to you know, arrest them for too much shredding. You know, they're killing on the guitar. Anywho, uh, yeah, so, I, you know, uh, Stu of the band, he, he promised that, you know, on the album, there's just lots and lots of crazy guitar work and shredding and all of that. He wasn't lying. Uh, he, he, one thing that we know for sure now is that he is not a liar because this song is just going nuts. Right from the beginning, there's like a, a very long intro where it's just the guitar is kind of, you know, with that, that rhythm and, and just really getting the, the mood and, and the pace going. And what, another thing I got to say, the, the drummer. Oh, man, that was some sick drum uh, playing going on there, and especially there at the end where he's doing all the fills and all that cool stuff. Uh, that was super awesome. And I love how he did with, like, the, the, uh, the kick pedals. Um, you know, there's certain spots where the guitar would kind of, you know, be like, bah, 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 and, you know, he... Bah, it just had this really cool, like, rhythmic nature uh, to it. It just sounded really, really great. Everything sounded really great. You know, the, the music and, you know, everything was just mixed really well. You could distinctly hear everything, even with, you know, all the crazy guitar. Like, the, the dual guitarists going at it, like, in the solo. It's just really, really, really cool. Um, I, I really liked the, the, the tempo of this song and, and the pacing and... The chorus, yeah, I really, really like the chorus. That that line the, at the end of the chorus in, in particular is so sick. There's blood in the water and you're going down with the crew. Oh man, that is just really, really tight. It, definitely a, a real fist, uh, you know, pumping kind of song there, you know, with the, the chorus and, you know, it's got that aggression, that grit and that impact to it. So really tight. And, and I really like the melody of the chorus and stuff a lot. Um, the only thing that I would kind of critique or, or just, you know, my opinion on is um, it, it kind of felt like in the verses that there, there was too much uh, trying to be said, you know, in the verses, like lyrically. Um, it, it seemed like my, my man on vocals, like he really having to cram like a lot of lyrics into uh uh, smaller space than it should be, you know, like maybe there should have been fewer lyrics uh, throughout the verses just to, to make the flow a little bit better because the whole time I, it just, it was hard to even really get behind because it just felt like there was the rhythm and everything going um, with the music and then him just trying to get all of these lyrics out within this, this brief uh, span of time. So it just, it, it didn't give room to breathe. It, it didn't, it just felt like it was a, a bit rushed. And I know it's a up-tempo song, but I just still feel like there was just a little bit too much trying to be said um, in the verses to where it just kind of, it, it just, it, it distracts a little bit from the song and, and whatnot because you just hear, you know, someone trying to just get so many lines in, um, that it just all kind of becomes jumbled a little bit and even almost sounded at times like he was going to be out of breath just because he's trying to get all of these these words out quickly and then go into the next verse and, and so on and so forth and so by the time you get to the the chorus it's a little bit jarring because the chorus is really melodic and it, you know has a, a little bit more of a deliberate a slower pacing to it um, so it's like when you go from that, the, the verses just being hyperspeed and trying to jam in a bunch of vocal lyrics to then more of a anthemic, a slower pace kind of, it just felt a, a little bit jarring. So, you know, I think with, with the verses trying to weave in a little bit more of a melody and, and fewer lyrics would have benefited the song a little bit. But that's really my only... Uh, critique. Otherwise, it was fun. You know, like I said, it was fist pumping. It was heavy as all get out. And um, oh man, those guitars and, and the drums and the vocals. You know, yeah. When I'm saying, I you know, nothing against the vocalist. 
whatsoever. You know, he's, he's having to get so many words out. It just just felt like too much. Um, but uh, his vocals were definitely on point. Uh, he's got such a killer range and a great, um, you know, emphasis, a great punch to his uh, delivery, especially like in the chorus and with, with the, you're going down with the crew and it just, you know, it, it landed so well. And, um, and then at the end, the, the, the high scream. So yeah, top notch all around. Just, you know, the verses just felt a little crammed and, you know, just a little bit more room to breathe there with, with fewer words needing to be uh, smushed in, uh, I think would have been, you know, uh, like I said, done the song, uh, benefited the song a bit, but hey, that's just me. At the end of the day, it's still a sick song. I love that chorus, man. I tell you uh, the, the lines, but... Anywho, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this one here. Uh, how does it compare to Full Force for you? And how excited are you for the new album coming out, also titled Full Force? I'm looking forward to it. Oh, man, it is going to be uh, ear and face melting. Uh, I can guarantee you that. It's going to be a wild ride, and I, I'm looking so forward to it. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below uh, your thoughts. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you all next time, Ranger.